Hey guys, Thunderhound369 back again, here for an actual review this time. We are looking at Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Scout Class Scattershot. Get a look at this little guy right here if y'all can. See what you can think of it because, in my opinion, this is one nice little figure. See what you think here. We get him out here where we can see him. Nice. Looks like all spark blue. Two big old big ass cannons on top there. He's classified as what they call an anti aircraft truck. But if somebody can tell me what this big thing is right here on the front, because in my opinion it looks nothing more but a big old cattle catcher that they used to put on locomotives back in the day. Nice little guy here. If I don't drop him, get a look at him here sitting on the table. Rolls. Rolls very, very well. As far as other articulation in this mode, cannons do raise up. They can rotate, if you like, raise them up a complete 360. Put them back down. Nice little Autobot logo here. Take a look one on the other side. The only thing is that I do not like about this is yeah as you can see All right, guys, let me get right into the transformation here. I don't have a whole lot of time to work with, so let's get into the transformation. What I'm going to do is, first thing, we're going to crack the cab away from the top. Pull it down. Until you've got something that looks like an L shape, T shape, whatever you want to call it here. Pop the sides out. Come around to the other side. I don't know if you saw that. Let me get that again. Pop this side out. Swing it out and around. Swing this cannon out and around. Come around here to the other side. Swing this side around. Get the cannon out of the way. Okay, and right here what you're going to want to do is there's a tab, you got a nice little joint there, it pops loose, you got that tab peg. Bring all this around to here. Make sure we got this in shot, bring these side panels back side panel back cannon leave all that there it's a little fiddly at times but we're all good we're all good here now what you're going to do is right here are two posts and another post right here and they're going to match here here and in here I don't know if you saw that with my big fingers getting in the way what we're going to do is we're going to bring this whole assembly up just like so. Now, when I first transformed this guy, he comes in package. He comes in robot mode, from truck to robot, or from robot to truck. And when I went back to robot, I had, for some odd reason, a whole huffer look. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to bring all of this. If you can get a hold of it again, if I can get a hold of this, bring all this back. 
to an angle. Back one more time, make sure I got that in shot because I wasn't looking at the camera, I was looking at the figure. And you're going to bring all of this up and you're going to peg sorry about that guys I went to get me a little toothpick so we can see in here you're going to bring all of this these two pegs this peg we're going to put all that in this hole that port and that port just bring them up it just sort of soft tabs right into place line everything back up again just like so straighten out the legs Yeah, straighten out those legs. See what we've got here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to bring this whole cattle guard assembly up. Bulldozer blade, whatever you want to call it. Bring it up to there. Then we're going to bring all this down to here. That way these guards will rest here they're just going to sit right there they don't tab in they just sit against these shin guards and the feet are there no problem then what you're going to do pop wiggle everything apart we'll set him down make sure he gets leveled out bring your arms down and around and around and he's trying to go back into bring out the all right I want to get keep my fingers out of the way as much as possible for this and you just bring the hands out I don't know if you caught if I caught that or not let me try that again just bring the hands right here just bring them out just like so yeah cannons down around there he is scatter shot nice little fit nice little figure get him in shot here he's really cool I really like him I picked him up a couple days ago as far as articulation, shoulders do go 360, ball joint in, out, to there. Elbows are on a double joint here. You've got a hinge joint and a ball joint right there. Hinge, elbow. Elbow does go 360 on the ball joint. The cannon does rotate. It will go full 360. Hands in out. As far as head articulation, none. It is stiff. Waist does have waist articulation. Hips are on a ball joint. In out, front, back. Knee joint on a ball joint. Front, backwards. Yeah, overall, guys, if you ain't got this little fella and you can find him in your area, you're not going to go wrong with him. You're not going to find anything bad. I mean, look at that. Let's see if we can get zoomed in here to this. It's not going to focus on that facial detail, is it? Eh? I thought I'd try it anyway. Well, everybody, this has been... Thunderhound369 for my very first 
Transformers review. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. I'm out, guys.